Hey guys, it's Miss Candy Natural, and this is a product review. Um, I recently did my henna about two days ago. It didn't really take, um, my hair is dark anyway, so I didn't think it was going to take. So I did it for the conditioning. So I wanted to do a product review on the Jamila henna I used, my um, new sulfate free shampoo um, by Jason's, and um, what else? Giovanni Smooth and Silk uh, Deep Conditioner. That's my nephew in the background, playing ammo. So, excuse him. First, let's start off by the, with the um, henna I use. I use this Jamila brand quality henna. Um, this is the one that I saw everybody use on YouTube, but, or most people. And, uh, let me say, it was 100 grams. I used the whole um, packet, and I don't know if maybe it's the way I mixed it, but it dried my hair out terribly. Like, I don't really understand how people say it's a conditioner. At the same time, it's, um, it dries your hair out. So, and I've heard plenty of people complain that it dries your hair. So maybe I have to put more oils in it. Next time I put olive oil and I put my Africa's Best um, mixture of oils, I put, um, conditioner and I put yogurt in it so I really don't know what the situation was but and it it wasn't hard to apply I let it sit for 24 hours a little bit over 24 hours and it didn't change colors it started off brown and it ended up brown so I really don't know what the situation was but I mean as of now my hair feels soft I don't think it changed my texture at all um in any kind of way still have that thick kinky hair for whatever um, it was really easy to wash out. I did a video, I haven't posted it yet, showing um, what I did. I actually stuck my head in the tub, like a lot of people do, and just did it that way. And then I rinsed, stuck my head in the faucet, and it all came out. I didn't have any, like, clumps or little um, balls in my hair. It was real easy. Then I washed out, or, or I washed it. And I washed it with um, Jason's Pure Natural and Organic Natural Biotin Shampoo. This shampoo, oh my gosh, when I wash it, you know how usually you wash your hair, it, you, it, you, it feels rough, it feels dry, you can feel that it took oil out of your hair. It, my hair was still soft after I did this, um, which was a surprise because my hair was dropped in the henna, but when I put this in here, it didn't dry it out any further, it was softer than it was before, and I figured out what it smells like. It's, oh, that's another thing. I mean, it's like a peppermint feeling when it goes into your hair. Like, you can feel it penetrating into your scalp. The whole shower, the whole bathroom, you can feel, like, you can smell it. And it just, um, it's just like a clarifying smell. It smells so good. And it's, um, it says, hair fortifying shampoo with natural ingredients. No laurel sulfates enriched with plant proteins, ginseng, chamomile, and helps promote health, healthy hair. And, um... It's got a whole bunch of different things in it. Um, but I got this from Earth Fair for, I think, $8.99. So not bad. Um, and it's 16 ounces. And being that I'm only probably going to wash my hair maybe twice a month, maybe a little more now that I got a sulfate-free shampoo. Um, but I'm going to still try to find some other ones. Uh, but this is the first one I started off with, which I love. So I do recommend it. Um, what was my other thing? What I deep condition with. I deep condition with Giovanni's um, Smooth and Silk Infusion Protein Hair Fusion Deep Conditioner. Let it sit in my hair for about 30 minutes. I sat. I put a um, shower cap on and I sat underneath the dryer. Um, I don't know. I have nothing bad to say about this thing. I have nothing good to say. It's not like I. I'm not gonna say. I couldn't tell because of the henna. I think it did a good job actually because the henna was so dry and when I took when I put this in, my hair was softer. But I think that I would get a better idea of how this is if I didn't do the henna. Then I would be able to clearly tell was it better or was it worse. I don't remember how it smelled, but um yeah, I have nothing bad to say about it. I will try it again. It was $2.99. And I found out that Giovanni, well, Walmart carries Giovanni now. Because I was going there to go look for um, witch hazel and castor oil and whatever. People say they get from Walmart, but I couldn't find it. So, and I ended up stumbling across 
the Giovanni line. They have the conditioner, they have the shampoo. So I think it was like $7.99, $7.99, $8.99. $8 Maybe it's $9.99. It wasn't more than $10. So I'll go to now that I know I can just go to Walmart and pick that up. So like I said, I'll try that again. Um, what else was I gonna do a review on? I think that was it. Um, I actually went out and bought some hair polisher, Icy Fantasia um, styling gel. I don't know if this is what people use to define their curls. Maybe it's activated gel, but I couldn't find it. So this one is enriched with sparkle light -like conditioners, aloe, wheat protein, and vitamin E. Um, so I'm going to try it out. There's no alcohol on this thing at all, which I was surprised about. So it's purified water, glycerin, carbomer, tri... I don't know, a whole bunch of other stuff that I can't pronounce. But either way, I'm going to try it on a wash and go. My hair, I, I don't have the patience to go finger combing or whatever to do the whole wash and go thing or defining curls. But one day I'm just going to sit down and do it. And I got this at $4.99 at Walmart, so I'll try it out. Um, what else? Let's see how many more minutes do I have. I'm at 6.14. I don't want to make it long. What else did I buy? Oh, and the reason why I decided to go with that is because... Uh, I'm still using my Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel, but I haven't had great results with the washing going on the rest of this. But then again, I get lazy halfway through the, um, the process and just give up anyway, so maybe that's what it is. But when I did do like a mohawk kind of thing and I had um, my, some of my hair coming in the front, it actually did work. I just, I know it can't work with my Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner because, and that's what I used to, um, as a leave-in whenever I did my... I washed out my deep conditioner, but um, then I sprayed some glycerin mix in my hair. I made a whipped shea butter type thing. Let's see if you can see it. I have it in my little Ziploc thing, and that's it. Um, and I put coconut oil. I put rosemary oil. I put olive oil. Um, what else did I put? The unrefined shea butter, pure shea butter. And was there anything else? I think that's it. And I whipped it with a Whipper, whatever you call that thing. Um, and then I, oh, and glycerin. I put glycerin, veggie, veggie glycerin in it. So, and it's real nice and creamy, like I like it. And then I two strands twisted my hair, probably had like 30 in my head, went to bed, and I took it out, and that's how I got this look. So, this is day three, so it's getting kind of matted up, but it's all good because I'm gonna end up putting a puff in my hair. And, but I did this to, um, I guess straighten it a little bit, elongate my hair. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. Um, I'll see if my nephew wants to say hey to you guys. I'll be back. Lisa, you want to say hey? You say hey to the camera. No. We're coming right back, okay? Okay. This is my nephew, CJ. Say hey, CJ. Hey, camera. <laughs> and what's your name? Cameron. No, that's not your name. What's your name? Christian. Christian. What else is your name? Christian. What else? Christian what? Christian. Ju Christian. Yeah. Julian. Julian. Ju what? Is it Julian? Yeah. And what's your last name? Do you know your last name? Either way, he has a video on YouTube where he's playing the guitar. So you guys should check it out. It's on my page. Don't you play the guitar? You can't use it after we're done. Say bye, you guys. Say bye, YouTube. Choo -choo. Say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Alright, bye, guys.